Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Terrifying Tuesday and we have to talk about something terrifying. And today we're going to be talking about Scream 7 and the potential possibility that Stu Mocker will be returning to Scream 7. But wait, 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 wait a minute. Is it going to be Stu Mocker or is it just going to be Matthew Lillard? Let's break down the rumors and theories that have been floating around. I'll let you know what I think and what I hope. So let's jump right into it. All right, everybody, we have to talk about this Stu Mocker rumor once again. The possibility that Stu Mocker could return in the new Scream movie. So to, st to start off, we have to sort of go back to the original concept for Scream 3. For those of you who don't know, the original concept for Scream 3 was to have Stu Mocker return and be the mastermind behind everything that's been going on. And this is what Matthew Lillard actually told Vulture in 2022. I got paid for Scream 3. Not very well, but I ended up getting paid for something I didn't do because the idea was that I'd be running high school killers from jail. And then as we know, a real life tragedy happened. And because this real life tragedy happened, that whole thing went out the window. Okay, so that becomes a little more problematic when you think about the fact that a real-life tragedy prevented this plot from actually taking place. And then we got the Scream 3 we ultimately got. Now, when you think about that in terms of how that played out, it was a whole lot different from Stu Mocker actually running everything. Now, this is where it gets strange, though. Do you know that Matthew Lillard has been in every single screen movie in a small cameo, at least, all the ones, anyway, that Nev Campbell was a part of? That's right. Anytime Nev Campbell was a part of the Scream franchise, we magically saw Matthew Lillard in a small cameo role. And this is what a lot of fans are using to spark this theory. And I think it does add a little bit to that theory that this could be what they intended all along. Even though Scream 3 couldn't make this a possibility, we saw that Matthew Lillard reappeared in Scream 4. He reappears in the new Scream trilogy. When when Amber is walking around, we're hearing voices that are disembodied from the other cameos in the movie. We hear a voice say, Great House. This is rumored to actually be Matthew Lillard. We do know Matthew Lillard also played the role of the gold masked ghost face in the new Stab movie. But here's the thing about that. Could it be that the new people running the show, running these movies, actually want to stick with that as a thing? A lot of viewers have these theories are saying that there are certain things within the movie franchise that support this, such as a few of the things that Ghostface says that he shouldn't know. In Scream 3, he brings up Sydney's past, saying when people are friends with Sydney, they die. And saying, how do you know I'm not a voice in your head? How do you know that I'm not some, basically, how do you know I'm not someone from your past? At which point she's kind of hearing, or it's being played on the phone, the things that were said in the very first movie in Stu Mocker's house. And these are things that, Roman shouldn't know. These are things that he would not have been privy to at all. And yet, he knows these things somehow. And if she is hearing these things on the phone that happened in the house, then that means not only does he know Stu Mocker's voice, 
some other voices that were around in that house, but he is able to call back these voices on his little device, despite the fact that it has been years upon years since any of these people were around to use their voice like this. That whole thing is something that a lot of people use in terms of speculating that this was in fact Stu Mocker and not Roman that was calling her at this point. And that would mean, of course, that Roman was working with Stu Mocker. And this is not the only incident. There are several other incidents that people like to point to. Another example is that this happens several times over. It happens where ghost face, the two ghost faces, are coming up on somebody while somebody is on the phone. If somebody is already on the phone, one ghost face is busy doing something else and another ghost face is coming up on somebody, there's a whole lot of that inconsistencies that people say point to the fact that there's actually been three ghost face killers the entire time and that Stu Mocker is one of them. Basically saying that during the scene when, when Sydney is coming back to the house in Scream 4 with her lovely little niece, so she can't be donning the ghost face mask, and her companion in this killing spree is still at Screamathon. Now, it's also at Screamathon where we get a cameo by none other than Matthew Lillard. So a lot of that goes to support it as well. And people like to call the fact that sometimes, when only in a few occasions, however, all kind of isolated events, the killer will take his knife and wipe the blood in a very Stu Mocker fashion. Then at other times, the killer will raise the knife above his head in a very Stu Mocker-like action. This is all proof in their eyes that Stu Mocker is in fact alive. Now, do I think that Stu Mocker is alive? If they do this right and they bring him back, hey, I'm all for it. It would sort of be a little bit poetic justice if you want to know the truth. Basically, him coming back to finish off the franchise, to finish off Sydney once and for all, wouldn't be a bad thing at all. However, here's the thing, though, when it comes to that. If, if they did that, it might feel a little bit like a cheat. Sure, we get thrown the incident with the TV where Stu Mocker could be alive, and they actually question whether or not he is. But then there's also people online talking about how that TV would have killed him or the electricity would have killed him from all that. We don't know either of those things definitively, but it sure seems logical that it would have killed him. What I do know, however, is that, like I said in the beginning of the video, Every single time that Neb Campbell comes back for a screen movie, we do get a Matthew Lillard cameo. And I honestly do expect that we will at least get a Matthew Lillard cameo in the background, uncredited at the very least. But I want to know what you guys think. All right, everybody, as always, we want to know what you guys think, so leave us a comment in the comment box below. Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can be a part of the conversation as well. Then don't forget to hit that like button as hard as you can. It's free. It helps the channel. We appreciate it. Miko says we need more subscribers, and you don't want to disappoint Miko. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video we do. Then, friends, at the end of the day, I know it, you know it, and Miko knows it. Bandom is family.